the advantages and disadvantages of using either blocks or precast slabs in your biodigester installation. There are new installers or people who want to install biodigesters, homeowners, and they want to know what's the difference and what are the advantages of using either one of these two. So in this video, I'm going to just give you a few understandings from my experience of using both of these method of installing biodigesters. The background to blocks is that it works best when you are new to this biodigester business. And then as an installer, you are looking for a way whereby you will maximize your effort. So what is available is what you use. So blog is readily available and it's easy to use. They know this mindset of using blogs in construction. So if you are new to this technology, then your obvious choice will be to use the blocks. And then that's why most of us started using blocks. But then blocks have a bit of advantage when it comes to digesters, mainly in certain areas or certain conditions or in certain situations. The soil type that you are going to meet will determine the type of materials that you should use. If you go to a place and or it's waterlogged, it's clay, and the water does actually take a long time before you can seep into the ground or the earth surface, then your best bet is to use the query dust blocks. The experience is coming from the father. If you go to a salty place, if you use precast slabs, then a time will come it will just crack it and it will break it or it will just to affect the shape and size of the digester. So then it's best to use blocks in such situation. It's also, blocks are also important when you are doing your work in a waterlogged area where there's going to be a lot of water in the ground. Probably there's going to be a lot of water also in the soak hole, which is going to take a lot of time for it before it goes away. So then that's where the idea of using blocks actually comes in handy but mainly from my experience those who do the blog works or those who use the blog works are the new installers who are also not that good at the business and are learning and then certain situations are supposed to use blog so in my situation if i travel outside accra in the regions either kumase takradi cape coast or whole wherever i'm working and then i can't get the precast slabs then i readily use blocks in those areas so if i travel outside accra then my best bet is to use the blocks but if i'm in accra and then i'm not meeting any clay situation and i'm not meeting any of those conditions that will, will not work well for the slabs then i will use the blocks but come to think of it if you are an installer and you're in this business your business model should be based on the fact that or how many digesters can you install in a week? Let's not even talk about day, in a week or in a month. So if your business mindset is that, or you have jobs and you are supposed to do, and you are using blocks, then you have to cast the top slab. You have to wait two or three days for it to dry. And then you also have to lay your blocks and wait for it to be firm enough before you can do the inside bed and then laying of the filtration materials and all those stuff. And then you have to take the top cover and cover it before you can go. So mostly that one will take you two or three days before it's done. But if you are using the slabs, just within a day or less than four or five hours time, you have finished your digesters and then you are gone. So basically that's the advantage when it comes to the precast slabs. Some people have also argued and some people have come to me saying that they do not trust the slabs because then they think that the slabs are not going to last well. But if a slab is done well, I've done a video of how to cast precast slabs. I'm going to leave the link at the top there. You can go have a look at it and see how to cast a precast slab. If it's done well, it must contain wire mesh. It must have the cutter rods or iron rod in it, the thread possibly. It must have all the ingredients and you must use curry dust and of course only cement to have it cast. That one, it becomes firm and then it should be two inches or maybe two and a half inches and you are not going to have any problems when you do that. The only problem is if, if it's not installed well and there are some holes around it and then water is seeping through. But an idea of biodigesters is that you are not going to, you should not allow water to be retained in the digester. If you are using precast slabs, it shouldn't be a problem. Unless, like I said earlier, the place is salty and then with time, it might just affect the size and shape of the biodigester or the slabs. Apart from that, slabs work best they work well in all situations and it's not going to be a problem so in my estimation precast slabs works best one when you are an installer and two if you require a small space to install a biodigester in some cases we've gone to houses whereby it's a half plot or it's a full plot but the owner want to maximize the land so they give you three feet at the back of the house and then they ask if you can do a biodigester there in that situation if you are using that space then obviously blocks will not work in that situation that's where the precast slabs come in handy so the other truth is that the thin nature of precast slabs do not make them less strong than blocks if you done well, precast slabs that contain your query dust, your wire mesh, your binding wire, and then your cutter rod or 38 
IROS will work as well as a blog that has been used in biodigester installation. The advantages of both slabs and blocks are not that much different in any situation it can be used i've used slabs in commercial jobs i've used slabs in domestic works and i've used blocks in commercial works and i've used blocks in domestic work and i do not see any difference between them subscribe to this channel if you are new here and watch the subsequent videos that we have the next video coming up will explain to you why you must consider biodigester installation for your next toilet wastewater management issue